Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Cherryboy and welcome back to Love at First Sight. And now we're just going to finish up all the extras. So let's start with Family Talk after EP. Alright, where are we going? It's late in the afternoon. Sachi should be home from school soon. Sachi's- oh, it's her! Sachi's wounds se wound seem to have healed quite a bit lately, and she doesn't seem to be getting any more. I'm sure it's because Mamoru kind has been protecting her. And I've been trying harder than ever before to have conversations with her while she's home. However, she rarely talks about school or her studies when we're together. She mainly talks about Momoru-kun and her new friends. Having said that, I'm usually the one who in initiates the conversation. She still doesn't try to talk with me on her own, perhaps it's because she thinks I am disinterested, since I often reply with only simple nods or other kinds of small affirmations. Affirm affirmations, <laughs> sorry. I cannot let this continue. I am Sachi's guardian. I must be there to support her when she needs me to. I have not yet told her that what's really on my mind, but it is something I must do. Besides, there are many other reasons why we need to be able to talk to each other. I thought it through last night and decided that today is the, is the day that I will talk to Sachi about this. To that end, I have been waiting by the doorway for her to come home for nearly an hour. I was thinking about how to approach her while I waited, but I still don't have a solution. It's childish of me to be so apprehensive, but even so, I have to talk to her. If I do not, I'm sure that our relationship will never change. I'm still mulling this over when Sachi and Momoru can finally come into view. I have no time to decide. The most important things aren't that I tell her how I feel and that I hear how she feels. Oh, the most important things are that I tell her how I feel and that I hear how she feels. I'm sure I'm sure it will be a step in the right direction, even if it's only a small step. Alright! <clears throat> Good afternoon, Momoru kun. Welcome home, Sachi. Hello, Mayumi san. Hello, Aunt Mayumi. Is something wrong? I just want to speak with you a moment. I just want to speak with you for a moment, Sachi. You do? I should get going. See you tomorrow, Sachi. Oh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Momoru-kun, being the considerate young man that he is, makes his exit. Um, so, what did you want to talk about? You see, what I really want to talk to you about, well, you'll probably think it's silly, but I've been thinking about it for quite some time. Will you hear me out? Yes, of course. I wonder if she has an idea of what I'm about to say just by the serious, serious expression I'm wearing. I'm t I am talking to her now, just as I had planned. I must have confidence. Thank you. Uh, of course. The truth, is, the truth is that I'd like you to stop calling me Aunt Mayumi. Okay. What? <laughs> what? I know I'm not as young as I once was, but I like to think that I'm still not that old. Um... <clears throat> But of course, when you call me your aunt, it makes me feel very old. I'm still only in my 20s, so could you at least call me Mayumi-san instead? Okay, okay, um, Mayumi-san? Thank you. Do you have anything else? You Do you have anything you want to say to me? Anything you want to ask me? Me? Uh, is that all you wanted to say, aunt? Uh, um, Mayumi-san? I did, but don't worry about that. There's nothing you want to say. There must be something you want me to hear. Um, well, it's kind of hard to think of anything when you put me on the spot like that. I see. Well, if you do have anything you ever want to tell me, please, don't be afraid to. Okay. Finally. That was the first time I've ever told her how I truly feel. The first time I've ever been able to say what I wanted to tell her for so long. I did everything I needed to. Overall, it was not a bad performance, I'd say. Well, I suppose we should go inside then. Right. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Mayumi-san smile. Ah, so this, these are all like epilogues. Oh, nice, cool. So girls talk next. <clears throat> all right. Sai. Akemi-senpai, I've never seen you looking so depressed. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> it's just I can't believe Rui-chan is actually changing schools. Sadakama-san. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bring her up in front of you. No, it's okay. Were you friends with Sadakawa-san, Akemi-senpai? I wouldn't go that far. We just went to the same middle school and I fought her this one time. You fought her? Wait, didn't you have another fight with her the day you went chasing after her? I remember you got really hurt. How are you feeling now? <laughs> Don't underestimate! <laughs> Don't underestimate me! I pretty much got away without a scratch! Tamayori senpai told me, told me you did get hurt though. Well, I mean, physically, it was a huge shock to learn she actually left. You know, I really wanted to talk to her out of leaving, but yeah, we ended up fighting in the end. Massive cat fight. 
I was a little surprised when I heard that. I didn't think you would be the kind to get in a fight. Well, I'm almost perfect, but I do have some flaws, Sachan. You really are amazing when you're serious, though, Akemi-senpai. Akemi I've heard you're a surprisingly good athlete, and you get good grades, too. Sachan! Surprisingly? When I'm serious? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? N no, uh, I mean, I admire you. I didn't mean anything weird by that. I was just repeating what Momoru-senpai told me. Um... Sachan, you really mean it? That makes your big sis so happy! You're much sweeter than those other two! Anything I can do to repay you for what you've done. Sachan! I don't want to hear you say anything like that! You don't owe me anything at all! Well, I hear you get good grades too, but you're not a very athletic person, right? Yeah, I'm not really cut out for physical activities. Don't say that! Oh, I know! Why don't you join some club activities? How about the ballet club? I can help you get started! Huh? Um, sorry, I... No? Hmm, well, I can't force you to do anything after all. Like I said, physical things aren't, are, I mean, I don't... You don't... If I join a club, I won't be able to go home with Momoru-senpai after school anymore. Oh my, what a lovey-dovey couple you two are! You really do love each other, don't you? Yes, Momoru-senpai is so nice to me. You're the only one Makun is nice to! He doesn't treat me even half as well as he treats you! But you two seem to have a great relationship. Or at least, I think you do. To be honest, I feel a little, a little jealous sometimes. Jealous? Are you a masochist, Sachan? So you want Makun to bully you then? That's not what I meant. Oh, now I'm the one bullying Sachan. <laughs> Why are you excited about that? I'm only joking. It's just cute that you're so embarrassed about the fact that you and Makun have such a sweet relationship. Uh-oh. And no matter how much I meddle in your relationship, you always seem to be so happy. Usually you never deny what I'm saying, even if it's totally wrong. You never get flustered or embarrassed no matter how much I try, and so I always feel like I'm losing to you somehow. I didn't mean- I didn't mean to make you feel like that. Well, I guess that's just the reality of you two being a couple. Anyway, you guys aren't having trouble with your relationship, right? Trouble? Not really. Well, I mean... Oh? Are you sure? It's nothing big, but... What is it? What is it? Come on, tell your big sis! Senpai hasn't been as affectionate lately. Is that all? Come on, there must be something else! <laughs> what? But aren't you two always clinging to each other? But, but we've only really been holding hands. A high school couple who's always holding hands seemed like a good couple to me! What more do you want? Maybe if he, um, rubbed my hand or my forehead more, um... That's the kind of affection you mean?! <laughs> yes, like when he used to touch my scars. I still have some, but... Huh? What do you mean? I mean, um, he used to, you know, rub the scars on my hand and forehead, and he doesn't do it anymore. Uh, sorry, I just don't really get it. <laughs> well, I mean, touching my scars is... <laughs> she doesn't get it. It's just a mysterious thing. Yes, and mysterious is good, in a way. Yes, okay, boys talk, now for the bro talk. Uh, I don't hear you sigh very often. Do your do your wounds still hurt? Some somewhat. What a disaster, though. <laughs> Did you get beat up too? I should have gone with you. I really didn't think Akemi was going to start a fight when she chased af after Sadakawa. No, Sachi needed you. It was right for you to stay with her. Well, I say that, but trying to stop them all on my own didn't exactly end well. Yeah, you've got the scrapes and bruises to prove it. No kidding. Though Akemi walked away without a single mark, and Sadakawa didn't have any major injuries either, right? Though Akemi, yeah. Right? Why are you the only one who got so banged up? Well, when I tried to hold one of them back, the other would take the opportunity to try and attack, even though I was in the way. Not that I could have stomped them any other way, of course. Oh, is that how it happened? Did I ever tell you about how they fought in middle school? It basically turned out the same way, although my injuries were much lighter back then compared to now. It was the same situation though, right? Why were your injuries worse this time? 
It's just because they're both bigger and older now, and both of them are physically fit. They can throw some mean punches. Eey. Seems like it. Well, I guess you filled Sachi's role, since you're the one covered in bruises now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sadakama really is going to change schools, though. I guess we won't have to worry about anyone getting beat up anymore. Hmm, probably. Except for people at the new school. <laughs> oh, no. Why just probably? Akemi, you know, last time this happened, she gave up on Sadakawa right away, but I'm not sure it's going to be that simple this time. She'll probably keep trying to change Sadakawa right, right up until she actually does transfer, transfer. So it's pretty much inevitable that something's going to happen between then and now. Seriously? That's a problem. Why are you grinning? <laughs> Seriously? That's a problem? Why are you grinning like that? You're going to have to help me deal with it when it finally does happen. Sorry, and yeah, I definitely will help. But the way you were talking just now, it sounded like it, it sounded like you guys were having a lover's spat. Yeah, well, someone's got to be there to look out for her. Man, she's really got a hold on you, you know that? Probably, but... Probably. But I'm not as bad as you are with Sachi, John. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. The four of us are a good match, though, aren't we? You two do look like a couple to me, after all. I told you to stop saying that. Anyway, there might still be another beating in my future, but at least your beloved Sachi-chan doesn't have to worry anymore. You only said that once before. And don't try to change the subject. Just... Just keep out of it. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, sorry. Anyway, um, Sachi, you know. I mean, her scars are pretty much healed by now. They're going to disappear, right? Yeah? Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, it is, but, you know. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Nothing, just- <laughs> He misses touching her scars. What? If you want advice, just spit it out already. It's really nothing important, and it's going to sound weird to say it out loud. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone, no matter how weird it is. It's... Uh, it's just going to sound like I'm trying to find an excuse to grope Sachi before... Before her scars completely heal, I want to ask her if she'll let me touch them. Uh, what? You want to touch her scars? No, she wants me to touch them, so I'm going to ask if she'd let me. <laughs> and you want to use that as a... <laughs> and you want to use that as an excuse to feel her up. No, nothing like that! Uh, I really don't get it. Are you saying you're more interested in touching her scars than in touching her? <laughs> no, well, I I mean, uh, look, look, all right, couple talk, I think this is the last one, yeah, all right, here we go. This is my first time being in someone else's room, I feel like I'm intruding, oh, we went to my room, whoa, <laughs> what's gonna happen, what, okay, nah, it's fine, just think of it as your own room, as your own room, relax, but, oh, <laughs> but it's Tomoyori Senpai's room, all right, sure, I guess, <laughs> Oh well, yeah, but both Akemi and I hang out in here all the time. You mentioned that, yes? Right. Well, the more you come here, the more comfortable you'll start to feel. We can all go. go we can all go to my house later too. <clears throat> I'll even. I'll feel even more nervous to be intruding in your room. There's nothing to be nervous about. Would you feel more comfortable in Akemi's room? Uh, actually, to be honest, I've never been in there. We've only really gathered that you gather. Sorry, we've only really gathered that yours or Tomoyori Senpai's house, haven't we? Well, the girl's room would be kind of, well, uh, I mean, y you know, Tomo's, a, n Tomo's known Akemi for a long time, and he's probably been in there, but come to think of it, he's been gone a while now, hasn't he? I thought he just went to meet Akemi-senpai. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they'll show up doing some slapstick comedy act or something. He'll probably end up with more bruises that way, though. He got dragged into Sadakawa and Sans and Akemi-senpai's fight, right? He's more beat up than I am now. Hey, your wounds are mostly healed now, right? I guess I don't have to do anything weird like touch them anymore, right? <laughs> don't worry, I'm really clumsy, so I'm sure I'll fall down and make some new ones at some point. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. She wants to make some more scars so we can touch them, but don't get hurt. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're telling me to not worry about that. Are you, uh, really that clumsy? Yes, I am. Actually, not all my wounds are healed yet, you know? Oh, really? Are you going to t touch them? But that, um... Isn't that kind of weird? Why do you say that? Well, why? Well, no, it's fine. Just, 
When I talked to Tomo about it, he gave me a really weird look. Actually, I talked to Akemi-senpai about it too. She didn't really get it either. You talked to Akemi? And you talked to Tomoyori-senpai. Tomoyori uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> we probably shouldn't tell anyone else. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Yeah. So, do you want to touch them? Huh? Well, um, are, are you sure? Yes. But the bruises on your face are gone. All of the obvious ones are healed. Have healed, aren't, haven't they? Well, yes, but you don't normally see under my skirt. There's, um, still a pretty big one on my calf. Oh! Uh, under... Uh, under your, your skirt? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. <gasps> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry it took so long. I went to meet our resident idiot at Kemi and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me? Huh? Why'd you stop? Tomo, aren't they in there? <clears throat> nope, nope, no. No one's, no one's here. No, Tomo, wait! You've got it wrong! You've got the wrong idea! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what happened? That's it? <clears throat> well, I don't think we touched the scar on the calf. Alright, oh yeah, and this stuff. Let's read all this stuff real quick, fam. <clears throat> Posted September 1st, 2012. Title, Luck with the, or Lunch with the Lucky Pale One-Eyed Girl. Caption, The last series of pictures gathered so much popularity that me many people asked me to make a continuation. I tried making this one more like a dating sim, but I wasn't used to making clean lines or using this kind of coloring, so it ended up strangely dull. Ah, uh, sorry, you invited me to lunch and I showed up late. You waited for me to get here before you started eating, didn't you? You waited for me to get here before you started eating. Oh. I seem to have forgotten my lunchbox. Uh, I'm such an airhead. <clears throat> if it's not too much to ask, could you give me some of your- <clears throat> Sorry. If it's not too much to ask, could you give me some of your lunch, please? Half? I can't take that much. It's really okay. I'm not that hungry. Here <laughs> we go back to feed her. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I said I'm fine, so, um... Well... Uh... Gulp. Mm, yes, it's good. Thanks a lot. Huh? You want to meet in my classroom tomorrow? So soon? You figured it out, huh? Figured it out, huh? Yes, I yes, I really did bring my lunchbox. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry. <laughs> when I was leaving my classroom, one of my classmates um did something bad to me. You're going to protect me from now on? Yes, I shall protect you. You know, saying that right to my face makes me feel really embarrassed. It might be embarrassing, but it also makes me happy. Thank you very much. Sorry, I know I'm such a crybaby. If I'm happy, I should be smiling, but I've never felt anything like this before. <laughs> Sniff. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you so much, really. Oh, I guess we should finish eating. Right, half for me? Huh? You wanna feed me again? I can eat by myself, you know. Wait, give me your chopsticks. Now it's my turn. Say ah. Uh. And ah. Uh, oh, maybe it's obvious m obvious by now, but I kind of have a feeding fetish. Uh, I love it all. <clears throat> all right, next. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Posted November 11th, 2012. Title: A lucky pale one-eyed girl looks at you happily. Caption: She took off her bandages to let you see her wounds. Ah, look at that. <clears throat> I love it. I'm sure you realized it by now, but. <laughs> I'm sure you realized it by now, but I have a scar fetish. <laughs> Alright, cool. Next. <clears throat> Posted February 10th, 2013. Title. A lucky, pale, one-eyed girl and Valentine's. Ooh, Valentine's Day. Um, today is, uh, Valentine's Day, isn't it? So I got you, um, here, chocolate. I made it myself, but it doesn't taste very good. I don't think it's even edible. I'll eat whatever you make! I couldn't buy one of the ingredients. Even still, I wanted you to have it. Don't feel like you have to eat it. I just wanted to give it to you to make myself feel better. Sorry. Do you mind taking it? Thank you. Sorry, it looks so ugly. Oh, please don't open it. It doesn't just taste terrible. It looks terrible, too. I really don't want... Won't mind if you throw it away later. Oh, wait, you're going to... I'm gonna eat it all in one bite! Ah! Or no, I'm going to save for each one. Didn't I just tell you it tastes terrible? Stop, you're going to throw up! Y you you ate it. Don't try to tell me it's good. I know that's not true. I tried taste to get myself, you know. 
Um, if you want to get that taste out of your mouth, I have... Wait, I spent so long making that chocolate that I forgot to make myself lunch. I can't tell him that. Bend down for a sec. Stretch- <laughs> Oh, and she gave us a kiss. <laughs> um, if that was your first time- <laughs> That was a good one. Wash out the taste of the chocolate with the kiss. I like that, yeah. M maybe it was a little bittersweet. It was, um, my first time too. Was it bittersweet? I wonder if it helped you get the taste out of your mouth. <laughs> no one could consider that sweet. And now my mouth tastes like burnt chocolate. Well, what the heck am I doing in the first place? But now I've made my first time and it's first time bittersweet. And if I say today's, today's Valentine's Day and my tongue is going numb, then maybe it's because of the chocolate. I'll sound really dumb. Glance, his face is red too. He accepted my chocolate, didn't he? And he ate it, even though it was awful. And now I'm acting like a total weirdo and he's still smiling. Uh, next year! Next year, I'm sure I'll be able to make it taste better. So, it definitely won't be bittersweet, okay? And, oh man, there's a lot more forward in these. It didn't happen in the game, but I planned a scene where Sanchi gives the main character a present. Of course, I ran out of time and had to cut it. <laughs> Alright, next. <clears throat> Posted March 14th, 2013. Title, I don't know if I can eat all this. Caption, maybe you had expected a white day scene, but I didn't have time to include it in the game. I hope this will do <laughs> this this doodle will satisfy you. My favorite gift to get for white day is hard candy, so I gave her a huge amount. She's not pale at all anymore. I wanted to make a game since I thought it'd be cheap and easy, but it turns out doing that on your own is still really difficult and not something that should be attempted lightly. Oh, look at her. Oh, uh, she looked great. I love this. This is about the point where I started to think maybe I could make a game out of this. Oh, yeah, totally awesome. Posted April 1st, 2013, April Fool's Day title, Love at First Sight, Coming Soon. Fake, ah, April Fool's, caption, <clears throat> It's the moment you've all been waiting for, I finally did it! Anyway, here's a sort of sample or advertisement or something like that, check it out. You can see when, when it comes out, the price, and where you can buy it, Earl. Is the trick I played on everyone, <laughs> everyone? What do we got here? Yeah, oh yeah, it's very nice, ah, I like it. Yeah, ooh, <laughs> there's a cake, or pancakes, or something in that, yeah. A a April Fool Fools? <laughs> Question mark. Um, sorry. Don't look at me that way. You're scaring me. Well, it's not an April Fools joke exactly, but I wanted to try doing that sort of thing for once. Sorry. Um, I'm seriously thinking about trying to see everyone through more than just drawings, but I don't really have a clear goal in mind. Anyway, this was just a joke. Um, the post itself will be deleted eventually. Probably. I just drew this up from an idea one day. Most of this will get reused. Oh, uh, was it her talking or the guy? Well, I hope you... Uh, I hope you all have a happy April. I posted this on April Fool's and a lot of people really believed I was making this up, <laughs> making this until I added in that kanji, the Japanese word for lie. Oh, uso. After April Fool's was over, this was about when I decided on the title that I ended up using. Nice. Alright, almost there. Three more to go. Oh no, what happened to this one? Although she looks cute, <laughs> no matter what. Posted July 28th, 2013. Title, checking in on a lucky, pale, one-eyed girl. Caption, supplying the ingredients for a healthy sachi usui. I meant to make it longer, but I got frustrated and ended up stopping and ended up stopping halfway. I had actually begun making our heroine's game by this point, but until then I had only considered drawing her for things I could upload to Pixiv. This was the last time I thought that way. Oh, you came to visit. <laughs> I really am clumsy, falling down the stairs like that. But we caught you in the game. Hey, calm down, I'm fine. I'm telling you, I really did fall. Don't worry. There's no need to apologize. It's my fault I fell after all. But anyway, for some reason, even though I got injured, I'm happy. Until now I was in pain, sitting alone and clutching my wounds. But when you said you'd come for me, I believed it. Do you think I could ask you for a favor? Would you mind holding me? Um, when I was alone, I felt hopeless, but now you're sharing your warmth with me. Right, well, um... And, oh, I love it all. <clears throat> This is about when I started making the game. Though the truth is that I stopped working on it shortly after I got the software the game runs on. I really want to go back in the time and kick my go back in time and kick myself. Alright, two more to go. <laughs> that looks great. Posted October 13th, 2013. Title uh, Halloween with a lucky pale one-eyed girl. Caption The front page is based on Tim Burns' Oyster Boy Steps Out. I was in the middle of making the game, but I decided to do something else instead and didn't end up and uh, didn't end up getting much done. The playable version will be out soon. Just wait a little longer. Satsi, Satsi steps out for Halloween. Satsi decided to go as a human. I guess I mean Sachi, Usui steps out for Halloween. Sachi decides to go as a human. Trick or treat. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute. I love her. Okay. Uh, and then we take it off. 
No, that's not who you are. I love your one beautiful eye. <laughs> oh, I gave her a, a witch's hat. <laughs> she became a witch. Ah, oh, that's cute. It's like, uh... Megaman? Yeah, Megaman from Konosuba. Yeah. I'll think of some good payback for you, okay? Extra, giving her two eyes. Whoa! <laughs> With two eyes! Whoa! Oh, that's cool. She'd lead a different life if she had two eyes, don't you think? Indeed. I was really procrastinating here, too. I wish I could make take my laziness from back then and break it over my knee. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I love her either way. With one eye or two, and then this final one. Posted November 20th, 2013. Title, How's It Coming Along? Caption, I've been wasting my time on pointless crap and have barely made any progress! <laughs> anyway, at the end of the month that I drew this in, I was going to release the game, or so I thought. How much could I finish in just under two weeks? Maybe wringing my own neck would have made my work faster. Oh uh, no, all of the work. <laughs> oh no, it's actually so much work. Uh, after I drew this, I really seriously started working on the game. This is about two months before Kumitia. Kumitia. February 2nd, 2014, where, where I had planned to release the game. I think I did a pretty good job in such a short time, if I do say so myself. Oh man, that's it! What is this? Oh, extra? Author, Hatanome Namako. Oh, this is fan art. Posted Hatanome Namako. December 1st, 2012, Twitter. Accompanying tweet? I'm going to hit you! Sorry. I mean, I'm going to hit you and say, how could I hate you? <laughs> okay. You're beautiful, Sachi! Thanks to Hatanome uh, Hatanome. Namako for fan art of Sachi. It's very cute. Many people drew fan art of Sachi, so I tried to create a fan art corner, but I didn't have enough time to ask for all the artists for permission to use their art. This is a bit off topic, but Namako-san said she felt like the game was one where the main character tames a lucky pale girl with one eye like she was a stray cat, and then kidnaps her. Well, I guess that's not wrong. <laughs> oh, so that's all? No! anymore. <laughs> okay, fam. Well, that's it. That's all that we've got. Afterwards, in my jukebox, we got some music. Missing love, hopping steps, lazy head, warning particle, waves of the spell, side sta statement, one pulse, two equal, one plus two equal, vice in the gallery. Yes, you've already seen all this, fam. Uh, that was great. And the cinema. Ah, yes, all the cutscenes. Yeah. Well, we did it, fam. I could just we could just watch all the all these again just for like memory lane. Ah, she's beautiful. Perhaps I messed up. <laughs> oh well. But you know, fam, that was great. We did it, fam. We've seen them all. I said this one. This is, yeah. This might be my favorite. Although I love all of them. We did it, fam. This is the complete, full end of Love at First Sight with all extras. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We made it through. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Keep saying that. This is, I love this game. It was great. I want to see more from the creator and stuff and such, you know. If you want to play the game yourself, uh... I'll leave a uh, link down below. Yes, anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you for being on this journey with me and getting to know Sachi and everything Monster Girl Waifu, Cyclops Waifu, <laughs> Sachi Usui, yes, and the bros, Tomoyori, Senpai, Tomoyori, and Akemi, and Sadakawa, and me, Mamoru, and Mayumi. Yeah, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I've said that like three, four times now. Anyway. As always, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like below. If there's any of the games you'd like me to play, please comment down below as well. If you like this and like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bells. That would be epically appreciated of you. And as always, my name is Boy, and my goal in life is to make you smile. And thank you again so much for watching this, for going through this series with me. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> see ya, fam. <laughs>